Welcome to a special edition of E-Cystic Fibrosis Review. I'm Peter Mogazel, and I'm here with Felix Ratchin from Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. We're in Dublin at the European Cystic Fibrosis Congress. Welcome, Dr. Ratchin. Uh, you'll be presenting data on the ISIS trial. Uh, what was that trial designed to show? Okay, so um, we wanted to do this study, and ISIS stands for Inhaled Saline mm -hmm. for Infant Studies. And it actually is a study in both infants and preschool children. Um, the reason we did this study is, as of yet, we have li very little data about any of the chronic maintenance therapies that we use in cystic fibrosis in this young age group. And we wanted to study hypertonic saline, which is the mm -hmm. intervention we were looking at, because it, it is attractive because it uh, addresses one of the earlier steps of CF pathophysiology, which is the deficiency in mucociliar clearance. And hypertonic saline has been shown to improve mucociliar clearance. So we did this study to see whether, whether early introduction of hypertonic saline would make a difference in terms of clinical outcomes in patients with cystic fibrosis, but we also looked at some physiologic outcome measures. We're all interested in finding early therapies for CF. What were the results of the trial? Okay, so the results of the trial, we, the, the primary outcome measure that we used mm -hmm. in, in this study was to look at pulmonary exacerbations. Um, and we did not find a significant difference in patients that were treated with hypertonic versus isotonic saline. So isotonic saline was our, our control arm. We don't call this a placebo-controlled arm be, okay. uh, be study because we don't know whether, um, whether isotonic saline actually has some effect mm -hmm. if combined with a bronchodilator, which was the case in this study, because when you give hypertonic saline, you always have to pre-treat with a bronchodilator. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we did not see any difference in the rate of pulmonary exacerbation or the time to first pulmonary exacerbation. Uh, we used a definition of pulmonary exacerbation that had a relatively low threshold. And so, so um, any episode of cough um, that was treated with antibiotics would have resulted in a diagnosis of, of a pulmonary exacerbations. And the rate that we saw was very similar to what has been observed previously in an, uh, in an observational study in, in CF. Um, but overall, there were no differences between the groups. There were also no difference in, in symptom scores. Um, but we de did see some differences in physiologic outcome measures that, okay. we, that we did. But the, those were done in a subgroup of patients. And I can detail them a little bit more if, me, if you want me to. Well, let me ask you this. How should clinicians interpret this data? What should they do in their practice using this data? OK, so based on what we found in this trial, that on one hand, we didn't see any major difference in uh, pulmonary exacerbation rates or symptoms. Um, on the other hand, we saw some promising data on lung function that was done in infants in a subgroup of infants. We, 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 we uh, feel that at the present time, we cannot recommend the widespread use of hypertonic mm -hmm. saline in all infants and preschool children. We think that we need more evidence that we need to clarify that further, whether early introduction of hypertonic saline can actually prevent some of the long-term lung function decline in cystic fibrosis or could potentially have an effect on preventing structural damage to the lung. But that could not be answered with the data of this trial. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, what did you learn in this trial that's going to help you in future trials and trying to figure out what's effective in this young group of patients? That's a, that's a very good question because one of the reasons we wanted to do the study is also to learn of how we design a study in this age group because we didn't have any, any previous studies that have, have been done. And we learned that pulmonary exacerbations may probably not be the best outcome mm -hmm. measured to, to be used. And also symptoms are relatively rare in these young mm -hmm. uh, ch children with cystic fibrosis. So um, a symptom-based uh, assessment may also not be the one that might be responding mm -hmm. to therapies. And we may, use, we may need to use those physiologic outcomes measures such as lung function and um, and there are some newer, uh, newer ones on the horizon such as uh, the lung clearance index which might be more sensitive in picking up these abnormalities as well as some imaging strategies such as CT scoring which may help us to to better assess um, therapies mm -hmm. in the future. Well thank you very much for telling us about your results for the trial. Um, I think as I mentioned Getting information about young children with cystic fibrosis and effective therapies is something that we're all very interested in. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation from the European Cystic Fibrosis Congress.